One thing I hope to cover on this account is the nature of cancer. We haven't really talked about it much, but today I'm gonna to talk about it a little bit. So behind me here, I'm gonna have a slice of an organ with some cancer in it. And if you're squeamish about that sort of thing, now's the time to leave this video. All right, shrinking down. And I'm just gonna show you that here, this is actually a slice of pancreas. And you have to remember a pancreas is an elongated organ that sits in behind the stomach. So this is a cross section uh, of that pancreas. This is the main pancreatic duct, and this is a large blood vessel that runs along the bottom of the pancreas. And this is actually normal pancreatic tissue, and you can see the border is very nice and even all the way around. But what about this stuff over here? You can see it has a very different appearance. It's even got a different color. It's kind of tan pink. It's a little lighter tan. Um, there's a circular globular structures of different size, and then there's a complete loss of architecture here whereas the architecture here is very even all the way across. So one of the main things cancer does is that effaces architecture, which means it changes the architecture of what is normal. And the big change here is that the lymph nodes around the pancreas, which are known as peripancreatic lymph nodes, peri meaning around, is that they're large and bulky. And that's because these are filled with cancer. Ah, but what type of cancer? you're probably thinking it's pancreas cancer, but it's not. This pancreas is normal. These lymph nodes are affected and many other lymph nodes throughout the body. And when that happens, we suspect lymphoma. So how do we diagnose it? We take samples of these lymph nodes, send them to the lab, we have them processed, and then I look at them under the microscope and I make the diagnosis of lymphoma. Now there are hundreds of types of lymphoma and thousands of permutations of each lymphoma. So I'm not gonna go over the specific diagnosis on this one. One thing I know is when I post something on TikTok, everyone thinks they have it. I get like hundreds of comments of I'm dying or I have this disease. This is fairly rare. I can assure you, you do not have this disease, nor should you try to self-diagnose yourself from a TikTok video. But I know you're wondering, what would the symptoms be like? Well, in this case, the symptoms uh, may be nothing and found incidentally, or they may be abdominal pain or things like fatigue or unexplained fevers. Now, depending on type, these lymphomas can be quite responsive to therapy and people can be completely cured. But the takeaway point from this video I want to make is that cancer changes architecture and that's what happened here. Cancer often doesn't respect normal tissue borders. I'm limited on what I can show on TikTok, so please go to my YouTube channel called Knife After Death and please hit subscribe over there and I hope to do longer and more detailed videos there.